Good morning, Chris Whelan from the Wellington Centre of Business Excellence, Building Better Businesses. This is the fifth part of the, of the five-part series on, on some of our research that we've done, looking at what the challenges are for particularly SME businesses, but businesses in general. And today I want to talk to you about strategic direction. This is really probably the first thing you should be doing, but I've left it to number five because it's probably the most important. Strategic direction. The key issue here is to know where you're going. Otherwise, you can never get there. Right? If you don't know where you're going, you can never get there. In business, you need to know exactly when your business is finished. That's not to say you stop doing the business, but when you've achieved the goals you want to achieve. And if you're directionless, you're like a ship in the ocean. It's tossed one way, tossed the other way. Absolutely disastrous because you can't achieve stuff. You can't get moving. And what is it that, that makes it a disaster? Well, firstly, a lack of focus. Right? If, you, if you don't know where you're going, you don't know where to focus your resources, you don't know where to put your team, you don't know where to develop your systems, none of that works because you're not in focus. It then means that you end up being reactive. And when you're reactive, you end up missing opportunities. Right? You miss opportunities, you can't make money, you can't make your revenue. And particularly right now, as we face some tough times over the next little while, that's a major problem. And the third thing is, if you can't measure your progress, you can't manage it, right? So lack of focus, missing opportunities, and being unable to measure stuff. And that all comes from not knowing right up front your strategic direction, not investing the time and the energy to figure out what it is you want to achieve. Let's look at the converse of that for a second. And the converse of that is that you do know what your true north is. It may not be easy to get there, right? But you know where you're going. The rest of it becomes a how. And while it may not be easy, it becomes much simpler, if that makes any sense at all. The second thing is that you can have a plan, right? So, and you can see in the board behind me, I've, I've done a bit of a rough sketch over here and I'll explain that in a second. But you can have a plan and most importantly, you can adapt your plan because no strategy, no matter how good your strategist is, no strategy survives first contact. When you hit the ground, you look around, you think, oh, hang on, the business conditions have changed, you can adapt. But you can't adapt if you haven't got a plan in the first place. And then of course, the other thing is you can actually bring people along with you because they know where you're going your team knows where you're going, your customer know where you're going, and you can then take them along with you. I'll give you a quick example. Working with someone at the moment who didn't really know, and you can see over here, I've said lifestyle and I've said money. They didn't know what their ideal was. And they didn't really know, they hadn't really thought about it. They were just doing okay, drifting along. What it meant is that they couldn't put marketing in place. They couldn't build teams aligned with it. They couldn't um, really decide what they needed to do to move forward because they were just kind of drifting along. We worked with them. We spent a bit of time and effort figuring that out, working with, the, in this case, was a chap, working with a guy and his wife to figure out exactly what they wanted out of the business long term. Once we did that, wow, energy came into the business. The team became more energized. Their customers knew what they were trying to achieve. So it totally changed the dynamic all through investing the time and the effort to figure out what their long-term strategic direction was. So three things I want to talk to you about. Get very, very clear on what success looks like, right? That picture over there. Make very sure that you know exactly what it is that uh, what, what success looks like for you. Don't be trapped in today's challenges and issues because if you are, it's very hard to move forward. So that's point number one. Point number two, be clear on the elements. You can see around the, over here, around the outside of this, I said people and team, technology, KPIs, strength, uh, systems and processes, trends. Be very clear on what it is that makes up that long-term success, because then you can put place uh, put measures in place to test and to measure it. And that becomes critical because around those outsides, you can actually then say, right, how am I doing in technology? How am I doing with my people? How am I doing with my teams? You can test and you can measure it. The third thing then, of course, that you want to do is to be very, and I think I've touched on it already, be very prepared to adapt, right? So these numbers, these circles you can see here, those are little projects that one has to put in place to build towards it. But again, no strategy survives first contact. Once you've got that, once you know your true, dive, true north, you can move forward and you can adjust as you go. Very, very important. I typically do that on a quarterly basis with people, but you could do it annually, you could do it more regularly. So three things again, when you do the strategic direction well, you get clarity of purpose, you get clarity of goals, you can know your true north so you can align everything around it. That's point number one. Point number two, you can be adaptable and you can drive innovation because you know where you're going, right? And you just need to figure out the how. And then point number three, you can build alliances. You can take people with you because they identify with it as well. If this resonates with you and if you want help setting your true north, you want help doing your strategic thinking, bringing in different insights, give me a shout. You can DM me. You can give me a call. You can hop on my website. I would love to sit down with you. No obligation just to figure out where your true north is and how we can get there. Have a brilliant week. Check with you next week. Bye-bye.